Assalamualaikum. Today uh, our group will uh, introduce about the manual servicing motorcycle brake system for Kawasaki Ninja 250cc. Okay, my name is Mama Arif Muhammad Mizul uh, with my friend Mama Yasir bin Muhammad Rahim, Mama Haris bin Sha'ari, Syarif Helmi bin Rasmin and Mama Anifa bin Ahmad Shakri. Okay, firstly, I will explain about the introduction. Servicing brake system is very important for every vehicle. Poor brake maintenance not only reduce the longevity and performance of your vehicle, but also contributes to accidents and injuries, as well as road death due to collision. The braking system of your vehicle is complex but simple to maintain. It is important to inspect and make necessary repairs to every component to ensure all parts are in working order. This part include the master cylinder, brake line, brake pads, calipers and rotors. Next. Okay, my name is Mama Anifa and I will explain about uh, for the assignment. We, were, we perform a brake bleeding changing brake pad and servicing brake caliper. For this project assignment, we use Kawasaki Ninja 250cc motorcycle from year 2018. Brake bleeding is the procedure performed on hydraulic brake system whereby the brake lines, the pipe and the hose that containing the brake fluids are purged of any air bubble. This is necessary because where the brake fluid is an incompressible liquid and bubble are compressible with gas and their presence in the brake system greatly reduces the hydraulic pressure that can be developed within the system. The process is performed by forcing clean bubble free brake fluid through the entire system usually from the master cylinder to the caliper of this brake but in certain cases in the opposite direction a brake bleed screw is normally mounted at the highest point on each cylinder or calipers. So next, I will pass to my friend for explaining the front brake. Okay, for the front brake, uh, we perform a brake bleeding. Uh, the brake bleeding is to push the air bubble in the brake lines. The process is very uh, straightforward on the dead bike that has a fluid in it. Uh, we, we, beam, we pump up the brake to achieve pressure, open the bleeder without releasing the brake, brake, the brake to expel air, close the bleeder, allow the pedal to return to its this resting position. Uh, we repeat the process until the brake have good feel on the brake lever. And also don't forget to keep the master servo full to prevent the air get into the uh, system uh, as you pump the brake. Hi, my name is Sharul. Okay, uh, okay, this is for the rear brake. First, for the rear tire, we run the brake pad and servicing the brake caliper and piston and make a bleeding process. Next, we change the brake pad to a new one because the old brake pad is already thin compared to a new one. After we done doing this, we remove the brake caliper and then uh, we perform cleaning service to remove dust and dirt. Last but not least, uh, we reinstall the brake caliper, brake pad and make a bleeding process to remove air bubble from the brake lining. Okay, next, we would like to show you uh, the video how we run and perform the servicing brake for this motorcycle. First step is to remove the uh, brake reservoir cap.
for this motorcycle we use a dot four brake fluid brand Brandix. Uh, top, top up the reservoir fluid to prevent the bubble get into the system. Right. And then we locate the bleeder screw, which is here, using a 8mm wrench to uh, open the bleeder screw. Before that, we pull the clear hose or tube inside the bleeder screw. The, we use the clear hose to identify the brake fluid, whether the brake fluid has an air or not. To perform the brake bleeding, uh, one person needs to press the master pump about 10 times and then after 10 times uh, the one person the person that press the master pump needs to uh, hold the uh, master pump and then the person that unscrew the middle one needs to unscrew until the brake weight coming up from the clear hose Pump. Ada ada. Pump. Pump. Dan. Pump. Sebelah ini sebelah. Dan. Kita perform some. Okay, after this process finish, uh, we need to uh, make sure. The reservoir is not uh, empty, which is uh, it can uh, cause the air to enter the system. Let's come. So we need to come up with some liquid. Di bawah dah dekat. Dia dah dekat bawah dah. Dah. Bawah tu memang kena dekat lepas dah buang. After done top up the brake fluid. Uh, we can continue to pumping. Uh, do a brake bleeding until the air in the clear hose is uh, not uh, visible. Buat lagi? Buat lagi. Pump, pump. Dan... Pam. Pam. Okay, as you can see, the the air in the whole clear hose is not visible. So, uh, it shown uh, the air in the system is already uh, clear. Uh, already clear from the air. So we so we can. So the breathing is there. Okay, after done breathing process, we install back the uh, brake master plumb uh, cap. Make sure the seal is in correct condition. Huh? Okay. Then we. We will do a service caliper service. Uh, to do a caliper service, we need to remove the whole caliper assembly by removing the uh, 
ni pas mounting tapi ni tu remove the uh, repet repet screw dua is uh, repet the repet Okay, to compress, to compress the caliper piston, we need to use the uh, G clamp and uh, use all bracket to compress caliper piston. Lem ni tu, bot the piston already. Ah, uh, at the bottom. Ah, uh, we look at the caliper condition. Looks a bit uh, nasty. And we recommend to uh, recommendation do a cleaning to the caliper. Tembak angin je lah, Cik. Tak ada tonton cleaner. Cik kat sini. Okay, for this uh, condition of that wet, we consider to to replace it due to the the thickness of the wrapper is already uh, low. the is in a good condition where there is no uh, pitting or rust overall the condition is in perfect condition the bore the bore also in a good condition where there is no rust the seat also no wear and uh, broken seal Okay, after done all the cleaning, inspection, 
condition inspecting the condition then we can install all the parts before installing the part for the piston we need to clean first and we need to put some uh, rubber grip and the piston let's put a little bit untuk bagi dia masuk je lah masuk je lah licin je lah After that, we install the uh, pin. Slide the pin. For the caliper bracket, we need to put some grease on this uh, pin. Now we will install the new bracket. This is the bracket. Okay, after finish doing all the cleaning and service and changing the brake pad, now we're gonna install back the brake caliper. Oh, yeah, I 
agak banyak mana? Eh, eh, beli kau, beli kau Lagi, lagi Dah, 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 dah Okay, now we're going to do uh, bleeding for the rear brake. First, we're going to pump, pump, pump the brake. Hi, my name is Muhammad Haris Mishari. So to be uh, so to be conclude conclude, uh, brakes are perhaps one of the most necessary elements of vehicle safety. Braking system relies on the hydraulic fluid to amplify riders foot pressure on the pedal. This is what allow rider to stop a heavy fast moving vehicle with minimal effort. Corrosion and rust can cause structural uh, damage to braking system leading to costly repairs. Regular brake fluid service can prevent these deeper system issues from occurring. Brake fluid flushes are recommended every 30,000 kilometers or two years depending on the driving and braking patterns. Servicing brake system is uh, necessary to avoid anything from a small fender bender to a major accident, neither of which is worth the risk. Regular brake maintenance helps ensure that brake engage every time it pressed by the brake pedal. That's all from us. Thank you.